You nasty. What's up, we've been we bets. It's your man behind the cam, aka Director Nasty, here for another Dead Battle reaction. On today's reaction, hey, before we get started, yo, as you can see, you know, we switched things up a bit. We got a new look going. You know, we got the studio set up, we got the new cam set up, we got the new setup set up, and you know, things are gonna look different on the channel. So if you're new here, drop that sub already, drop a like. But with that being said, that's not what you're here for today. Today, you're here to see Winter Soldier versus the Red Hood. Winter Soldier, we know from the Avengers, Bucky, the best friend of Captain America, frozen in time only to be resurrected into a total, complete, genetically made badass. Versus the Red Hood, who is uh, who is an adoration of Robin, trained by Batman, who is isn't quite good, isn't quite evil, but still kicks a whole bunch of booty, yo. I'm excited for this death battle because this is the proverbial sidekick versus sidekick. Not to say that neither of them are not strong in their own complete right, but when you think about both these characters, they are side characters to bigger characters, even though they do have their own stories and honestly are really, really powerful in their own rights. But this battle is going to be an epic one. My early favorite, I'm going to get Winter Soldier early on because I feel like he's genetically superior. He has a mechanical arm. He has years of training. Um, he has a bunch of years of experience. And he doesn't really age versus Red Hood, who even though was trained by Batman and is pretty strong in his own right, I don't really think he's going to be able to hold a flame. Hey, if you made this far and you haven't already, again, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video. We do Death Battle, three weekly uploads. If you want to catch me live, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description below in the top pinned comment for all my links, including the Patreon, where you can find uncut and unedited reactions winter soldier versus red hood reaction coming up next hey just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel you members of the nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible catch director nasty on reddit patreon and all other socials in the description below with links also don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks again <laughs> I don't think you do. I'm mad they call him brainwash assassin. With an patriotic good bet heart in doing one vain feat to get to trained by his friends as Bucky. Bucky. Wait, so that story in the movies isn't true? Genesis until one night he walked in on the city of Bravia and grew into his power. Bruh. Oh, this story was way crazier than the one they told in Avengers. Or Captain America, or whatever, Winter Soldier. I mean, that's what they do. They stand on people. Bro, that arm though? Yo, you imagine? Yo, you might rip it off, bro. Along with this new persona, the Winter Soldier reported ascending his skills to 94 physically in his 30s, 5'9, I'm taller than him. 260, I'm fatter than him. Which made him quite the formidable foe. Yeah, man. Look at this. Yo, Winter Soldier was literally fighting Captain America. And you want me to believe the Red Hood can take him? I don't know, man. I gotta see more. Y'all gotta show me something, DB. Coupled with his mighty elbows, didn't turn out so well. Jason Todd is your hero in Winter Soldier. Jason Todd. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard of this, Robin. Bidding by to a life of petty crime until eventually running into the Batman himself. Jason Todd is the global legend of the Batmobile. Man, trying to take the rims off the Batmobile. 
Are you serious? Usually I think they're wrong, but that was it. Of all cars. What? Okay, anyways, he's 23, 6 foot. He saw second Robin. That's why I don't know who he is. Confirmed kill count, 83. So he's a killer, unlike Batman. For real? Oh my god. Don't kill Wiz Boomstick. You need Wiz. I had so many questions, but they said don't ask. I ain't gonna ask. Oh. Oh my god. Not gonna be happy when it comes to that. That's what I missed. He came back with powers. Okay, after reading everything, I thought I knew. Way to go, Death Battle. Way to go. Yeah. Survived the uh, ritual. Don't know anything about that. Stalemated Ravager and Batman. That's decent. That's decent. That's decent. Defeated Tim Drake, Joker, Raza Ghoul, and Catwoman. Actually, that's pretty. It's pretty good list. Yeah, anti-hero for sure. Damn, I actually really like Red Hood after watching this. That took me three hours. You want to see what I can get done in four evenings? Please. Early favorite, I had Winter Soldier, but I also didn't know a lot of that information about Red Hood, the resurrection, the powers, the using of the venom. That was a lot of stuff I didn't know before this started. Also, one of the key things, at least for me, is that the Winter Soldier's arm, the bionic arm, it is not the uh, the vibranium arm. It's just a titanium alloy arm. So with that being said, from what I've seen from Red Hood, Red Hood has better training than I anticipated. He has two major upgrades of being resurrected and coming back stronger, but also using the Venom. Whereas Winter Soldier, we know, we already knew what Winter Soldier was. So for me, it went from like the bar was Winter Soldier, Red Hood, and Winter Soldier didn't really move, but Red Hood kept crept up a little bit for me. So I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with Winter Soldier on this one. But if the hood were to win, I wouldn't be upset. This is another one of those fights where I don't really have a dog in the race, but I am excited just to see what the outcome is. Hey, once again, if you made it this far and you haven't already, hey, please drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video. Three uploads weekly, sometimes four of them feeling froggy. Links are in the description down below. Winter Soldier vs. Red Hood Death Battle Fight coming up right now. This looks, this looks like it's going to be fire. I'm excited for this. Oh, bro, you ain't going to wash your hands and take your gloves off? For real, for real? Oh, he's inside a restaurant or something. Or prison, maybe. Oh, okay. I thought the door was going to blow up the way money ran. Bruh, I thought that door was coming off the hinges. Yo, much respect. I see them working on this uh, and uh, on the graphic effects. The bullets whizzing by the house fire. Too easy. Come on, Bucky. Bucky. Oh, actually, I'm 
know where he is. I thought he was going to jump out from under the table. Yo, that flip was nice. Oh, that's cheap. He's straight catching bullets, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Damn. Oh, that's not even fair. Ooh, that was nice. I can tell this is going to be an extended fight. Here, let's go. Hit it with the night fork, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. I like the sound effects that the arm's making. That's nice. That's a good touch. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, Bucky. Oh, my God, Bucky. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a combo. Jeez. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, I see it on his hip. Nah, that's not over. Bucky. Bucky. I see that thing on his hip, Bucky. Oh, he got the arm back. Oh, it's not even close to over. Oh. Oh, Bucky. Oh, that sounds visceral. Oh, oh, Bucky, don't, sc oh, Bucky, oh. These, yo, this choreography is fire, bro. Oh, not going to work, bro. Oh, that was a nice draw kick. Weak, but nice. Did he just crush his brain? Oh, man. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I picked Winter Soldier to win, right? But that brain crush, didn't see it coming. That was disgusting. He literally just smushed his frontal lobe. Viewers, what even meant when both had the L's of spirit, similar arsenals, and an unparalleled drive to win? Maybe it's because Thor is so pitiful and Steve Rooney is that evil too. Maybe Jason is still a piece of shit and still cool. But Bucky Barnes reigns supreme in my mind. And that is fair. How so though? Like Chris says, I'm stuck on this script and trying to get to the end of it. Uh huh. True. Yeah, more experience. His middle arm was able to stay in and out of impact. Uh huh. Still good for the single arm. His best track record. Yeah, I see. Okay. Well, Bucky has a checkered past. See, he logically could not be defined as pure evil. Yeah, I know that.
Because when he said it, it was like, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh, ironically, Venom versus Krona. Who Krona? I ain't never heard of Krona. From Soul Eater. Okay. Let's stay focused. In this battle, Winter Soldier takes out Red Hood. It's like we said earlier. We knew the training was going to be similar. Bucky had leagues more experience, which I actually didn't take into account that not only did he have his natural experience, right? Then he was kidnapped by commandos, brainwashed, trained, went on a bunch of murder missions. Then he was Captain America later on. Like, I knew Bucky, I knew the experience was kind of close. I thought the experience was closer than it was, but in hindsight, it really isn't. Like, Bucky literally has, like, 70 years of experience to, like, to Red Hood's maybe, like, 11, 12. So, that's an oversight on my part. But, hey, we still got it right. Winter Soldier won. I'd be lying right now if I told you that. Those in a couple times, I thought Red Hood was going to win. Specifically after Bucky, like, put a couple combos in him and put him on the ground. But I told you, I saw that Venom on the hip. So, I was pretty sure that the Venom was going to come into play and completely throw everything off. But luckily, we see that wasn't the case. He tried the Venom, and it did give him a couple extra, you know, it left all a couple, you know, extra little hands in there. But it wasn't anything substantial enough to really take out Bucky. AKA the Winter Soldier, in case you guys don't like me calling him Bucky. I'm sorry. I call him Bucky because his name is Bucky. How many people do you know called Bucky? You get to call him Bucky, let alone a badass named Bucky. It's just funny. Kind of like a big guy named Tiny or a tiny guy named Big. It's just funny, right? Red Hood is actually a way cooler character than I had, that I had given thought to or credit to initially, too. Um, I, I knew he was trained by Batman before a moment there. I kind of forgot. I was like, wait, is this the same Red Hood that I think I'm talking about? But it was the same Red Hood. Red Hood, I didn't know that he also had, um, boosted abilities from when, I, first of all, I didn't know Red Hood died in a timeline and then gets brought back like freaking Superman style. And then he has like boosted abilities. So like, that's why my initial guess was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I'm going Winter Soldier. Easy, easy. I'm going Winter Soldier. Cause I'm like, in my mind, Winter Soldier was just a Robin who lost his way and came back and was ready to fight people. But in reality, he had a lot more going for him than I initially anticipated, which made for a much better fight, in my opinion, honestly. Um, but yeah, in the battle of Red Hood versus Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier takes the dub. Hey, that means I'm like 2-0 for this new season. That's, that's not bad at all. Moving forward, we got Venom from the Spider-Man series versus Krona. Um, yes, I'm looking at it right now. Krona from Soul Eater. Um, I don't know who Krona is. I don't know Soul Eater. I'm not going to do any research because I like to do these blind or at least wait till like the last possible minute. So it should be interesting. And Venom, we all know Venom. We all love Venom. Uh, one of my favorite recent movies is actually the Venom movie with Tom Hardy. Because that movie was actually way more dope than anybody gives a credit for. It didn't get a lot of praise or a lot of views, but like... That Venom movie, if you haven't seen it with Tom Hardy, it is actually really, really good. Hey, once again, if you made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video. I upload three times weekly on this channel, different types of reactions. If you want to catch me live, I am live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check in the top pinned comment and in the description down below for all my links, including the Patreon where you can find uncut and unedited reactions to everything on the channel. I'm your man behind the camera. Remember, y'all, stay nasty. You nasty. I don't know why. Whoa! 